walking. It's been around for ages. The physics behind walking is actually quite amazing. How a simple step can get you from point A to point B to point C to point D to point E to point F to point G to point H to point I to point G. I think nowadays people take walking for granted. It's granted, not granite. Past civilizations have used walking as the main source of transportation, from the first human beings, to the Romans, to our military. To point M, to point N, to point O, to point P. Walking has never seen a point this important before. With modern day technology, we have the power to analyze every step. Nowadays, walking is becoming more and more obsolete with all of our new 21st century technology. People simply look at walking as a thing of the past. Some of the first things we learned to do as human beings is to walk. We have an old saying in England, Hey bruv, I'm walking here! I believe that most people see walking as a danger. There are still many things that we have yet to understand about it. Walking is a universal thing. It's done all over the earth in countries like France, America, Japan, Australia, Papua New Guinea and Uganda. I don't think mankind will ever get close to something this incredible. Walking is the best thing that's happened to mankind since the Big Bang. To point W, to point X, to point Y, to point Z. We are. We are. We are. We are. Walking. Hi, I'm Alex. Hi, I'm Trevor. I'm Ronnie. And I'm Richie. And I'm Lionel. And, and this, this is, is Garbage Bin Tip Over. Check me out. Oh. Hi, I'm Alex, and this is Skateboard Curve Drop. That was it. Dude, Lionel, get this. Yo, Lionel, you recording? Yeah, man. Hi, I'm Ron. This is uh, skateboard drop curve. Curve drop. Yo, man, you good? Yo, Alex, stop the recording, man. Dude, my mom can't find out about this. Trevor, my mom's gonna kill me. Yeah, same here. Guys, we gotta leave him, man. Yeah. Ah, guys, no! I can get better kosher. I can do so. I can do. Can do Ah, my spot. Hey man. Hey, what's up guys? Not uh, much. You alone? Yeah man, of course. Alright man, just kick your shoes off, come on in. I bet. I can get that. Thought you were alone? I thought so too. Yo guys, it's been like, it's been like a year or so since Ronnie and that incident happened. You guys haven't told anyone, right? Nah. Mm -hmm. no. Oh my ankle! Oh my ankle! My ankle! You guys hear that? Oh! Oh my God! Did you see that? Did you get that? What was that, man? What was it? What's just floating there? Did you feel that? Yeah. A brush of air? Yeah. What the hell was that? No. Did you get that? Yeah. Sorry, guys. Forgot to turn my fan off this morning. Oh. oh just unplug that. Ugh. Hey, Alex. Check out this new uh, night vision stuff I got. Oh, that's. Oh, lit, what? Dude, no way. 
Oh, I can see the infrared light. Okay. Wait, let's try it out. All right, let's check this out. <laughs> oh. Oh, Why did you get that? What was Why that, man? Yo, what's did you get that? Yeah, what the hell, man? What was that? What was that? Bro, I'm kind of scared right now, man. I don't know if I want to be... I think I might have to Yo, leave. Yo, let's see it. Hey, Trevor, you want to turn the lights off, man? Yeah, sure, no problem, man. Yo, Lionel, do, do you see that, bro? Do no. you didn't see that? No, try it one more time, man. Man, are you sure you didn't see that? Yeah, I think I saw something on the camera. Should we try one more time? Okay, I did, I'm trying it again, man. Here we go. Ah, damn it! Scary so far. I told you, I saw something, man. Your power in this world is minuscule. But any given time I can wipe you out. You think helping out these innocent people will do you any good? You are wrong. Thank you for saving us, Double of Sanchez. Taco burrito calabaza pluma zapato telefono. Watch out, Double Sanchez! Time to die! I will do everything in my power to take you out. You think your technology can help you? Magnificent, isn't she? Zero to twenty in sixty seconds. I will send Ivan after you. Actually, I might send Boris. Boris is top comrade. Ivan not quite ready. What is your name? Sanchez. Sanchez Jose de la Veracruz Camisa Negra de la Di Maria Sanchez. Idi Dimant, let them go. From the creators of Double O Sanchez and the producers from Normal Activity, we bring you 127 Seconds, a story told by the survivor, only on Heroes. Hi, and welcome to Heroes. I'm joined today by Steph Foster. So Steph, you've been branded a real hero after what you pulled off. Oh please, just call me Steph. Um, so tell me a little bit about what happened. Well, you know, it just started as a nice stroll in the forest. Hey guys, I'm back. I just decided to go for a quick stroll today, you know, to get away from the grind. Um, I'm here out in the woods. Just me and my thoughts. I mean, I knew what I was doing the whole time. I am lost. So what did you do after you found out you were lost? Well, I mean... I saw this cool trick on TV about moss, and I decided just to follow my gut feeling and, and use that knowledge. Guys, so from what I can remember, um, 
the way the moss grows on the tree usually means that I'm still lost and that did not help anything. I don't know what moss on trees means. I don't know where I am right now. Um, and you know, I didn't know how long I would be out there for. It's kind of looking like I'm going to have to build something because I might be here all night. So I decided to do something about it. So you know how I said I was going to build a shelter? Well, that was five minutes ago and here we are. Um, so basically, we have your general roof. Um, there is where I think I might sleep. Uh, I, I haven't really figured out the logistics yet of where I'm going to place everything. There, I think I might put put my dresser and stuff. And over here, I think I might squeeze in a little kitchenette or so. Um, but there's still one problem here that I haven't really figured out. And that is the fact that I am still lost. Um, and I also remembered an old trick about how to find True North. Hey guys, um, so... Um, trying to get out of the woods still. Um, so I read in a magazine called wilderness explorer um it says if you grab two sticks like so similar kind of length um and if you throw them in the air whichever one lands straight um points north so i thought i'd give it a try for you guys all right okay i got my two sticks <clears throat> so this one landed that way and this one landed that way so that means that I'm still lost. How does... So what did you do for food? Hey guys, so I've been lost in the forest here for about 25 minutes. Um, and I thought, you know, sooner or later I'm going to have to catch dinner. So I went out and found this. It's a makeshift spear. It's got that pointed end. And... You can see right over there, that's where I'm going to be throwing it, because you see this like something right around there? Um, and basically, when you want to hunt with a spear, it's all in the throwing motion, right? So, me, high school javelin team, um, I was king of the crop, as they say. And uh, here it goes. So right there, I've caught something. Basically, I caught a little bit of moss right there. Now, um, with moss, it's got a high nutrition value. Um, clean it off a bit. It's frequently eaten by kind of the, you know, um, ground dwellers. Um, so I've sunk to that level. You know, um, it's no Denny's, but uh, here it goes. Wow, great story, Steph. And now, already seen.
Yes, Mr. Atkins? Sit down. Class has started. Oh, sorry. So the Cuban Missile Crisis right caused there? a debate about so Canada's defense policy. Uh, yeah, I just had a weird thing last United. night. Should Canada accept... Keith, does something want to share with class? No, Mr. Atkins. Should Canada accept nuclear... Can you tell me about that dream, then? Um, seeing psychology, man. Yeah, yeah alright. I'll just pretend I didn't ask you about the dream, then. remember from last class when we spoke about the human brain that our minds have a tendency to uh, link fantasy with reality dreams being a perfect example uh, there's a lot of dreams where you know feel so realistic I'm sure you've all felt this where um, you know start seeing similarities with the real world uh, technically known as cryptonesia most of you know this as uh, deja vu about that dream you won't tell me about? Yeah, you know when you're dreaming and you think it's already happened? Bro, what are you talking about? You know, like what Mr. Drew is talking about right now, the deja vu thing. No, that's something hippies get from dropping too much acid. Actually, Keith, man, I'm serious. What happened in the dream? Well, I was running away from something and I can't remember what it was. I know I was in the forest and then I just woke up. Well, maybe you had some of this deja vu that he's talking about. But how? I don't even know what I was running away from. When you experience deja vu, uh, it usually feels as if you've lived that moment before. You have some sort of familiarity with it. Uh, in time, the, this phenomenon occurs because you've dreamt of something without knowing, and something happens in the real world that reminds you of that dream that maybe you remember or you don't. You want to ride? Uh, yeah, sure. Thanks. I hop in though. Spending so much time with Keith lately, maybe you would have known that I got new glasses. Well, Sorry, I just wanted to see him. All you have to do is ask. Do you want? Yes. There you go. Thank you. They're nice. Thanks. Um, Keith is going to pick you up and take you to school today, so you should eat up and get ready. Okay. And your dad's also going to be late. He has a staff party after work, so he won't be home. Okay. Okay. Thanks. See you later, Mom. Keith's here. Hey, 
Thank you. Aaron. Oh, nice haircut. You want to dowel under the cut it. Are you ready? Yep. My soul flocks for the carefree life I'm thinking about a heaven or just an afterlife But Mr. Fiella, my first collaboration My dehydration, I'm tripping space stations Addicted to the love, lust, knowledge and the limelight Everything's connected, a bunch of different satellites Highway to hell, hogging up the lane Say that we are crazy, but they don't know insane It's my capital game, I'm coming straight out the membrane Homicidal hooligan, kicked out of the school again I'm rocking all the classes, microphone assassin Started by murdering now I'm verbally trespassing The sun don't chill I don't stand still Look inside my mind Because I'm mentally ill I display hate Break you in eight places Lost a generation With a great statement Pick apart the elements So I can reap the benefits My elephant's on nemesis I'm working on my penmanship But words burn a soul Fire in the booth Different Stream still bugging you, huh? Yeah, I had another deja vu Were you still running from something? No, this time in the dream, I saw a pair of broken glasses on the ground. And this morning, my mom was wearing the same glasses in, that I saw in my dream. Well, why don't you go talk to Mr. Drew after school? Yeah, I'll go see him after class. Sure, and what's up? I've been having weird dreams lately. What kind of dreams? Dreams that have been relating to what I'm seeing during the day. <laughs> well, if you and Keith had been paying attention in class, you'd realize that's that cryptonesia we've been, been talking about. Does that mean it can play out in real life or anything like that? Well, no, it's just a projection from your subconscious. It's your brain telling you that it's uh, seen it before. Okay, so there's nothing to worry about? No, that? no, you're absolutely not. Like I said, your brain sees pattern and it sparks a match in your memory. Making you feel like you've seen it before. Okay, thanks, Mr. Drew. Yeah, no worries. Hey, Aaron. Thanks for coming to talk to me. If you got any other concerns, please just let me know. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Hello. Yes, this is Jane. Hi, I'm calling on behalf of St. Paul's Hospital. It's about your husband. You should get over here as soon as possible. Hello? Hello, Jane? You still there? Hello? Keith, it's Aaron. I was just wondering if you're gonna give me a ride this morning. I guess he didn't answer, so I'm gonna say that to now. 
Okay, I guess I'll see you at school today. Bye. Yeah. But does that make them smarter? I don't know. You know, it's a, it's a different time too. Now you have access to all this stuff yeah. at your fingertips. You don't yeah. have to memorize yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, but then that, you know, does that mean that just because you don't have to remember that we don't? I guess that we do. The approach to national defense was a departure from previous policies. He wanted to scale back Canada's participation in the nuclear arms race to the Soviet Union in the hope that this would erase Cold War tensions. From Driving home with Jason, and they were in a car accident after the staff party. He veered off the road. Does Keith know? Yes, he was at the hospital. I didn't get a chance to talk to him. Do you know where? Do you know where Keith is? I didn't have a chance to talk to him. There was so much going on. He ran out. Aaron, where are you going? I'm going to go find Keith. What do you want? I came over as soon as I heard. Would you hear? That both our dads were in a car accident. Is that all you heard? Well that, and then my dad's in the hospital right now in a stable condition. Yeah, and my dad's dead. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. I bet they also didn't tell you that your dad was driving drunk. You should go. How's he doing? He's really upset. Um, his dad died in the car accident. I don't know if you, you knew, but he's really upset about it, and I think he thinks it's our fault.
Keith, how are you? Is Aaron home? No, he's gone out to do a few things. He should be home shortly. Do, do you want to come in and wait for him? Sure. So too. Just say 